Hey everyone, so today we're up in the mountains, not far from my house. I saw this one come up this morning online and I thought, right, we're going to just have to maybe go and have a little peep. Um, it's on for 30,000, it's on 0.8 of an acre and it's pretty derelict but it's also really, really cheap. So you guys, we had to just come and have a look. So this is the road that we drove along and I just want to show you guys what the view looks like. <laughs> just before we go down and have a little peep at the house. So this is what you're looking out over. And hey Hilux. So you kind of step down off the road into the house. Um, you've got a little slope to my left and there you can see the house down there. See it there? Now, I've been down here already and there is a lock on the door, so we're not going to get inside, but a lot of the windows are already broken out, so I'm hoping I'll be able to like stick the camera in and give you all a little bit of a look. So, yeah, I'm going to actually probably walk a bit more safely now and not be looking in the camera, so I'll be back in two seconds. So this is her. So at the far side of that little porch, there's one window, and then you have the porch with the door, which is unfortunately locked. Then you have a little window here, another room here and then a little shed and then that's back up to the road where the jeep is parked so we're going to have a little walk over i know this window here for sure is open so So we have two rooms leading off this little room here. I'm gonna go up the top of this gas cooker here now. We have a fireplace with two built-in units, a light switch or something, and then the doorway into the other rooms. Now, look, let's be honest here, right? You only need a roof, but the house itself doesn't look too unstable. I mean, of course it's messy and it hasn't had a roof for a few years, but... Oh, look at the wallpaper. I'm a freak about wallpaper. <laughs> now I'm going to go walk over to the other window. I want to watch where I'm going now, so this is going to be a little bit jittery. Window number two, so I'm assuming sitting room maybe. Let's see what we can see here. So we have, again, you know, like not a bad size room guys. Two windows, one in the back and one in the front, which is always gonna help when daylight, obviously that skylight would kind of help with daylight too, but probably get rid of that. Um, yeah, I like that. Gosh, I wish estate agents would put photos up of these houses because it would be so much easier. Look at it. Okay, we're going to tackle the elephant in the room here now and talk about this porch. So, something's after happening to it. It doesn't look particularly structurally sound, but, you know, it's not particularly high. It doesn't have an upstairs or anything on it. So, I mean, taking it back down and building it back up probably wouldn't be the biggest job in the world. It's a really nice addition to the house, especially because it's quite a small little house and it doesn't have an upstairs. So I probably would build it back up. It doesn't have a flat roof either, which would be lovely to keep it because it just looks really nice and, you know, keeps with the age of the house. The roof, lads, I mean, come on, we're gonna need to get rid of that, okay? So keep that in mind. It's 30,000 euro for a reason. Put a new roof on the bloody house, right? Now, we have a little shed here. Obviously, more than likely, there isn't a toilet here. It said there was no services on the listing. So we have this little shed here. Now, it is basically just a shed. I mean, guys, there's not really any point in me going in there, but look, it's stone built. It's attached to the house. If there was any chance, you could maybe use the space to put a toilet in, get some planning to turn it into part of the house. It'd be lovely. 
um, or just use it for a shed because to be honest everyone needs a shed when they're in the country so what do you all think it's worth 30,000 euro do you think you'd live in it I would I would literally live in anything though so I'm probably not the best benchmark but it's nice and you know it's not too far from Tipperary, Limerick City, places like that. And it has a nice little bit of outside space. There is not a sign on the road to tell you that it's for sale. And these state agents directions are not accurate. So if you want to go and view it, um, just send me a DM or an email and I'll explain to you how to get to it. Or I might even come with you. Yay. Bye.